Hello everyone, welcome to another iTrack support webinar. Today we'll be covering the lesser known or hidden features uh, within iTrack products. My name is Tom and uh, today we're going to go through uh, UCI changes, mentioning single sign-on, some of the mobile options, our branded app, our kiosk app, some option with our external forms, the test drive and community edition. We're also going to record the session for anybody that wasn't able to attend. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask it in the Q&A panel. And at the end, we're also going to open it up for questions. So if you have any questions, feel free to uh, type that in to the chat box. So first off, did you know that Microsoft Dynamics has uh, introduced a new UI? So some of our customers may be using an older version of the client uh, that is going to be known as the legacy web client when the new uh, UCI is introduced. So this new version, as it's known, the unified common interface comes with uh, new graphics and navigation options. So the navigation has been moved over to the sidebar. There's better breadcrumbs. There's an introduction of new graphics, uh, color controls, visual aids. The Dynamics app also auto rescales or what Microsoft calls reflow. So that means if you develop an app that works for mobile, it's also going to automatically scale to different screen sizes. So whether you're using a full screen or a tablet, it will automatically scale. It's also been designed to have less clicks and it uses subgrids for that. Uh, so you have to open up less windows. There's uh, recent and favorite options. Um, there's faster performance as a result of this redesign. There's better options for role-based security, and there's a lot more plugins to the integration and development options. So what this is, if people are not familiar with it, it's a change that's going to become um, mandatory on October 1st, 2020. We have done uh, several webinars on this in the past, and we'll continue to do so till October. So if you're interested, you can check out the webinar, and I'll also go through uh, the page uh, on our website where you can find that at the end of this presentation. And what we want customers to know here is you get all the benefits of the new navigation, but you should also reach out to us, especially if you're in an older version of iTrack, so that your version can work uh, fine after October. So customers that are on the current versions are not going to have any problems and they can even change over the, this new uh, Dynamics UI right away. But if you're in one of the older versions of either iTrack or Dynamics, you might want to talk to us about uh, the, the migration that's going to be uh, happening in October. And another feature that uh, some of our customers might not be aware of is our integration with single sign-on. So this is a fairly new introduction. Uh, it's going to provide a lot of auto login options, such as if you're logged into Dynamics, you'll then be able to sign into iTrack Portal without having to um, do any additional sign-ins and vice versa. So if you're already signed into iTrack Portal, you can get into Dynamics. So this is all those login credentials that people are currently using, such as their Windows login credentials, their Teams login credentials, their Office 365 credentials. All those are options now. And um, this is great. You can go back and forth between multiple products. No extra login credentials are required. And it's based on current Microsoft technology, so there's better security standards and protocols in place. And it opens up a lot more options for people logging into iTrack without having to take additional steps. Part and parcel of the single sign-on development is also we are introducing some options for multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication. So if you need that as well, feel free to talk to us. Now let's talk a little bit about enhancements on our mobile side. So what we have here is an introduction to some better controls. And first of those is the search functionality. Uh, in the old format, they wouldn't have been as handy if you have lots and lots of forms. We have customers that have 20, 30, 40, 50 forms. And so when you're looking for a particular form or procedure, it was really hard to find. So we've even improved it so that when you're searching for it, uh, whether it's the form or the form type, or a procedure, you can search by name and it'll be much easier to find. Um, this is also part with uh, better form grouping. So the individual form types are assembled by their form group, so such as a category. And that way, when you're searching for them, not only will it return the result based on the form that you're looking for, uh, in the, the mobile screen, it's also gonna 
indicate them underneath the group that they're in. So, and uh, for customers that are not aware, you can also rename those groups too. So if you named them something else when you're originally implementing and want them to be something else now to take advantage of these new features, you can do so. Another feature that's lesser known uh, and, and not always available or visible to people is the portrait and landscape modes. So this is an example of our procedure page. And so when you turn the screen, depending on your preference or usage, uh, you'll see that the screen will change automatically as well. So in this example, the filters um, that are visible on the left hand side in the landscape mode, uh, if when you turn it to portrait mode, the filter then disappears, but you can bring it back up by clicking the filter icon in the upper right. So this just improves the usability of the forms. Some of the forms have really wide fields or selections to make, uh, such as uh, risk matrices and, th and th things of that nature. So uh, if you have forms that are very wide, uh, then of course landscape mode is potentially better and we want customers to be able to use it in both portrait and landscape mode. Another feature is the ability to have a branded version of our mobile app. So this is the same functionality as our regular app, but it's been uh, customized to include your own icons, your corporate colors, and other elements of your visual corporate identity. So if you do this, it theoretically will engage your employees more, boost product confidence for people that are not used to using our uh, app or are not familiar with the iTrack name. So this creates a better opportunity to engage more people. Once these customizations are made, you would just publish the branded ad to the App Store or Google Play, just like the regular app. And for customers that are interested in doing this, the key thing to remember is that this is part of your long-term plan. So if you wanna update things or change or make bugs, you obviously have to do this from time to time uh, to include those changes. So this is maybe not a once and a forget sort of thing. Uh, you probably want to keep in touch with it um, through the different months and as the different versions of iTrack come out. Another app uh, that's separate from the regular iTrack app is our kiosk app. And we introduced this fairly recently, so uh, not everybody's aware of its existence. So what this is, if you go to the app store and search for iTrack 365, you'll see a couple of results. And the kiosk app is essentially designed uh, for users to share a single device. So this would be common in places such as uh, warehouses, processing plants, field stations, uh, remote offices, et cetera. And uh, the, oftentimes in these locations, the, the tablet is sitting in a particular place and it can't be moved, but a lot of people might be walked by and interact with it. So the same functionality as other iTrack products, but a different login method. Uh, it is essentially a drop down list. And it also is helpful if users do not have a corporate email. So if you've got uh, vendors or contractors, they might not have your standard uh, logins, so maybe SSO isn't an option for them and maybe they don't want to use their own device or can't use their own device, kiosk is a potential option. So this is considered an add-on to a regular mobile license and oftentimes it's just $1 more on top of what you're currently paying for each mobile license. So having this option increases definitely a lot of flexibility for the users. It might make it easier for the IT department instead of having to provide uh, users with their own corporate login or maybe even providing them with a physical device. Kiosk is uh, very, very handy. So in simplest terms, uh, the user would sign in, they would enter a form and then get auto signed out so that the next person can pick up the device and fill out a form. It's designed to be very simple, user friendly. Uh, the other thing that we're also mentioning for customers because of the additional hygiene requirements around COVID-19 uh, for customers that are looking to use something like kiosk, we simply say that um, in, you know, in places where maybe cleaning the, the tablet uh, regularly isn't an option, something as simple as the introduction of a stylus pen would uh, take care of the requirements of not everybody having to touch a common device. Another feature not uh, a lot of people are aware of is our external user forms. So this is a different way or simpler way to interact with uh, users that aren't your common mobile users or common portal users uh, through a feature within the Microsoft Dynamics portal and bringing that data together and essentially publishing it on a website. Uh, you can do so through your own intranet page or an internal website. Um, it, it just creates the ability to feed the data out of iTrack and Dynamics into a, a form that could be exposed publicly. So it adds a lot of visual appeal because you can make uh, make this very 
um, visually oriented. It gives a lot more interactivity. It increases visibility of the iTrack product and it gives you flexibility in terms of data entry. So uh, the cases where this has been used would be external parties. So something like auditors, vendors, contractors that you might not need to give them the regular app, but still might want to collect information or visualize information for them. So there's obviously some additional configuration for something like this, but it is very handy and very powerful. Another feature with this external user forms is the ability to match color panels. So in, in the past, you didn't have control. It would just be the standard um, eye track colors, but with the combination of the newer releases and those external forms, you can match the color scheme to your corporate colors. Another feature that was recently introduced in version 4.16 of our app is auto uploading of attachments. So in the past for people using previous versions and if they had to attach something uh, as like a document or an image, you would then select with the location of that file and you'd have to click upload uh, in the new uh, UI of the mobile app. And I believe maybe on a portal even, uh, you go through and when you select the document, it will then auto upload. So this just saves clicks for users, makes it user more user friendly. Another feature that we have available is the ability to rename statuses. So if you're within portal and you're filling out forms um, on the left hand side, it's very common to see what the next uh, or what the options are for handling the form. So whether you can save it, save and close, change the status. Uh, what we've introduced is simply an, uh, an ability to rename those statuses to be something else other than the default options. So the default options being save, uh, draft, return to draft, cancel, save, and close. So if you don't like those verbiages and have uses for something else, um, you can rename those as a customizable option. So this was introduced in the last version of Portal. Another couple of things that people might not know about. Uh, one is uh, form IDs, and uh, typically this is seen in something like custom development or even with trying to expose external forms to customers. You need the ID of the form, which is the system ID, rather than the form name. So we've just made it easier for uh, through the drop down in Dynamics to get that form name so you can uh, customize something as in connecting to that form or making it visual. So this is just an easy way to get that without having to drill into the database itself. We've also introduced itemless sorting. So this would be seen on multiple columns where you've got a checklist of some kind and you want to be able to control whether something is ascending or descending. Now that's available system wide in Dynamics when you're setting up your forms. Another feature that not everybody's aware of is the ability to test drive iTrack. Uh, so what this is designed for is people that haven't seen iTrack before, uh, such as new customers, customer references, prospects, anybody that's curious about what the product looks like. And maybe this is just a referral that you, you've got a friend or another company that's interested in the product and you don't want to show them yours because it's uh, confidential information. You can lead them to our website and on the website, there's a bunch of places where you can click the try eye track button, or there's a button also called available Microsoft app source, which then takes you to the app source page where you can go ahead and get a, I believe two hour um, test drive of the product that's been pre-configured with typical forms and user data and things of that nature. So, if you find it through our website, great. Just click the button and it'll take you there. You can also find us through the app source itself. So you can go to the app source page, uh, search for iTrack 365, and then it'll take you to the same location. And here you'll see a video. You'll get a sense of what's configured as part of the test drive. And all you have to do is uh, click the test drive button and it's, um, it's pre-configured instance will be made available to you. And now it's a really good way to check out iTrack 365. Another hidden gem of ours is the recently introduced community edition for COVID-19. So for companies that are affected by COVID issues, getting ready to have their employees head back to work and you need pre-built safety processes. If you don't have one, you don't wanna necessarily start from scratch. And even if you don't have iTrack, that's not a problem at all. This community edition is sponsored by Microsoft Canada 
and it allows you to have access to 15 different form types or process flows, 1,000 forms per month, and unlimited mobile users. So if this is something that you need or know somebody that needs this, uh, please share. All they have to do is go to our uh, itrack365.com page slash COVID-19, and there'll be more information that's provided. And this is a free service. We want uh, customers to use this worldwide. Uh, we don't care what your needs are. If this is something that can help you, we're more than well uh, willing to share this with everyone. So on top of the forms themselves, that free community edition comes with uh, built-in Power BI, BI reporting and dashboards. So it's configured to work with the 15 different forms that we have in there, and it will work um, out of the gate. That data that you collect in that instance will also be available to you at any time. So if you once you're done using it, you just want to download it, that's not a problem. And it's perfect for a lot of small and medium sized businesses, maybe ones that don't have a lot of processes in place or don't have a way of easily creating them. That's it's designed for all that. So it's very easy to get started. All you have to go is go to our page. Uh, there's a register button. And even if you've never used or seen Dynamics or iTrack products, this will still be a very usable and user friendly system. We've also made it easy to get additional information on top of reading what we have on the website. Uh, we do have a standing call every Monday at 2 p.m. Mountain, so people can dial in onto that call, ask us questions, see how things work. So we're more than happy to answer questions for everyone. So before I wrap up, let me quickly share some of these web pages with you just to make sure that everybody sees where everything is. So this is our iTrack 365 page, and right here is the option to try iTrack for those that are interested in doing a test drive. And in here, if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll see that the test drive link to Microsoft App Source. When you click that, it'll launch the, the page, and then you're looking for this test drive button right here, right? So for information such as our previous webinars on like the Microsoft UCI change or something to do with the COVID instance, the community edition that we have created, our iTrack 365 or our neosystems.com page slash webinars will bring you to a link of all our previously recorded webinars and what's coming up for the rest of the month. So feel free to check that out. Then we are always updating this. And lastly, if you are looking for information on the community edition or our COVID solutions, itrack365.com slash COVID-19. And in here, you'll see what we've created, um, our press release when we initially released this, what are the different available process flows as part of that instance. We also have uh, pre-recorded videos of the demos that we've done before. Uh, we have information about the Power BI dashboards. We have a video for that information and also we have the link here as well to join us on monday for the help session so that covers all the bits and pieces of the lesser known or hidden features of itrack thanks for your time